The entrance barrier for getting into FPV is quite daunting. This mostly comes down to the high initial cost of the equipment and often a lack of skill and not wanting to risk said equipment. Luckily, there are these things called simulators, and today I want to give you a brief overview over the three simulators I've personally used when I first got started out. So the simulators we're going to talk about today are Velocidrome, Liftoff and Uncrashed. And that also happens to be the order in which I first tried them out. To give you a better overview, I'm going to take a look at six different categories that will try to cover all of the information you might have to know before you want to make a decision. So those six categories are going to be the price of the simulator and where you can get it, the graphics and the gameplay, how beginner friendly the simulator is, how much content and updates you're going to get, and lastly, what I think who the simulator is tailored to, and some pros and cons. Starting out with Velocidrone. Velocidrone was the first simulator I got, and it's probably the most common simulator if you google for an FPV simulator online. Depending on your region, the standard base version that I bought is going to cost you around 23 US dollars. And sadly it's not available on Steam, so you have to buy it from their website. Coming into the simulator itself, the first thing you're probably going to notice is that the graphics look a bit outdated. And that's because they are. And the simulator doesn't focus as much on being a video game, but actually focuses on the simulation aspect of flying FPV drones itself. But that also comes with some perks. The hardware requirements for this simulator are super low, and this simulator is definitely gonna run on almost any potato PC. The gameplay is mostly focusing on an accurate physics simulation of actually flying FPV drones, and at the same time also is heavily focused on race drones. Compared to other simulators, the content is probably going to be pretty limited. This mostly comes down to not being available on Steam and not having the Steam Workshop and the Steam Community. Getting to the most important topic for you though is, how beginner friendly is Velocidrone actually? And well, it kinda comes down what you expect from FPV itself. FPV itself is not a super accessible hobby, and when I first started out, like most of it consisted of researching, and actually trying to get my controller to connect to my PC and then mapping the different inputs correctly. And Velocidrone is not going to give you a tutorial or anything that's going to help you with that. So the purpose of this simulator in my opinion is more tailored towards racers, or people who want to become racers, or people who don't have a bulky PC. Looking at the other simulators I've bought and used over the years, I personally would straight go to one of the other twos, which is going to bring us to Liftoff. Liftoff, in my opinion, is absolutely amazing and by far the best simulator that money can buy. It is available on Steam for around 20 US dollars and boy are those 20 bucks worth it. The first thing you're gonna notice when you start up the simulator is the extremely catchy soundtrack. I can't stress this enough, but I absolutely love the soundtrack of Liftoff. I even listen to it regularly on Spotify when I'm out flying or just chilling. I will link the soundtrack in the description, and if it's the only thing you're going to take away from this video, then it should absolutely be the soundtrack of Liftoff. What I really love, apart from the gameplay, and of course the soundtrack, are the enormous amounts of content you're getting. Not just with the base version itself, but also with updates and add-ons. Without even touching on the Steam community. And boy, this is a huge deal. Next to every common binance flight drone you can buy at any retailer is going to be on the Steam Workshop. Coming to the next topic, how beginner friendly is it actually going to be? I can tell you, I wish I had picked up the simulator right from the start, because it's an absolutely awesome experience, especially for beginners. The amount of care and thought that's put into how beginner friendly every aspect of it is, is absolutely amazing. To give you a quick example, if you hook up your remote control, you can calibrate and configure it easily with the animations shown on the screen. Another example is the in-depth tutorial that goes over every stick input and movement of the drone, and later challenges you to go even faster. Honestly, awesome job wrote a ride on this simulator. So who is it tailored towards? Well, obviously it's going to be an absolute blast for every beginner. It's super easy to get into, affordable, and boy, the soundtrack rocks. But even if you are already a veteran, the simulator will give you lots of opportunity to improve your racing skills or teach yourself some new freestyle moves without risking any of your precious points. It's not going to be as accurate simulation-wise as Velocidrone, but honestly, I think it still gets the job done great. 
So then, why even look further? That's it, right? Well, not quite. I still tried out another simulator mostly because I wanted to be able to practice chasing moving objects like cars and bikes, which at this time only was available in Uncrashed. Which also, spoiler alert, by far has the best graphics. Uncrashed is going to be available on Steam for 15 US dollars and as mentioned before, has by far the most stunning graphics and is overall a really different experience in a good way. You're going to notice this the first time when you start up the simulator. Everything about it is really minimalistic and reduced, which I personally really like, and you can get right into flying super quick. But especially the maps are going to be something really different. Of course you're gonna get your standard bandos and other maps, but Uncrashed offers unique maps like the Arctic or super cool freaky fifth element style city with flying cars and high rises which has already summarized the content pretty well. You're going to get an awesome, polished map experience with the ability to practice chasing flying cars and regular updates with new maps. So I personally love using the simulator. But I would say because of its minimalistic nature, it's not going to be as beginner friendly as Liftoff. But I would definitely recommend it to people who are already into the hobby to practice chasing or freestyle in a super polished, run into the action experience. I hope this video helped you out and let me know about your experience down in the comments. The reason I built this channel was to share experience of getting into FPV and the different mistakes and hurdles so people don't have to do them a second time. I'm thinking about actually doing a giveaway now that I've reached 100 subscribers of either one of these toolkits, which is by far my favorite FPV toolkit, or one of the licenses of the drone simulators I've reviewed in this video. So let me know down in the comments what you think. That's all I have for today and don't forget to take off.